Now, the teams are out. And welcome to our BBC Surrey, our BBC Sport app and our National League TV viewers. I'm Rob Worrell. Alongside me is Steve Gibbs, who's the former All Shot Down Media Manager. Welcome to supporters of both teams uh, listening uh, and or watching. The shots are in their all-home kit of red and blue striped shirts, red shorts and red socks. And Southend, very simply, in an all-yellow strip with, I think, navy blue flashes on the sleeves. Jordi Van Stapper surfing goal for the shots. Ollie Harfield, Kean Harris and Haji Minoga remain the back three this evening. And uh, the midfield four, if you like, the two wing-backs and the two centre midfielders is the same as well. Left to right, Frost, Glover, Widrington and Jones. And then in front of them, Josh Stokes in the number 10 position, wearing the number 10. And in front of them, Tolage and Barham. Barham, the only change coming in for Kwame Thomas, who drops to the bench. That's just rotation. Uh, Barham, tenacious on all occasions, and they just like to keep him nice and fresh. Away to our left, uh, underneath the East Bank roof, where they'll create a great atmosphere, along with the Shots fans on the other side, uh, and on the open slab, and in the last section of the stand. And I can't quite see the depths of the East Bank there, but I think there's at least 300, and it might even be nearer 400 South End fans. Here's Widrington in midfield. Poor touch, but recovers well, and plays it off of uh, a South End midfield. I think it's ball down the line. And I think Glover should be able to deal with it. He does, up towards Stokes, who gets a little flick on and recovers well. Ball into the path of Tolad. Now Barham's in a foot race on the left-hand side. He might get the opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one against Barham, but he tries a shot. And I think it might have even just scraped the outside of the foot of the post, Steve. Certainly yeah. the keeper didn't touch it behind. Very, very close for Barham. He plays on the shoulder, and I think he's accrued the most offsides of any <laughs> of any player in the National League, the entire National League. So he just needs that something to go for it, go for him. And yeah, it was 50-50 chance there. Does he shoot? Does he play play in Tolaj, who, who was in space, breaking up alongside him in the right channel? But you can never blame a striker for having a shot. Absolutely not. Now Dimitri has made a forward run the other end, and Bridge is into the penalty area, squares it across. It's cleared away by Kean Harry. 21 minutes gone here at the EBB, where it's Aldershot Town nil, South End nil, and Harry Taylor's been able to move 10, 15, 20 yards forward here across halfway. Uh, exchanges passes uh, with Gus Scott Morris. Now he's going down the right hand side, plays a ball in. Aldershot can't quite get on it. It's picked up by Norris in. He's going to the uh, air. A ball comes in. It's cleared away. Shot comes in, and it's wide from Callum Powell. So he doesn't have the benefit of uh, TV pictures or a replay. Um, if anybody's watching the TV coverage, and there was a replay of that ball into the area, Van Stappershoff missed it. Um, trying to make amends. Decent game for all the shot at Bournemouth on Saturday. Theo Widrington definitely his best so far. Ball into the area, Cardwell shoots. And I think it's gone just Good wide. Side. And Van Stappershoff may or may not have just palmed it wide of the yeah. goal. It's played forward by Miley to Haji Minoga. Fascinatingly poised this game. Big, big odds that whoever gets the first goal will probably go on to win it or certainly not lose it. Um, if you look at the stats, but here's... Uh, they mean nothing, as uh, Jamal Firefield was pointing out on the NL Full-Time podcast at the weekend. Not interested in stats, because whatever they are, they're always there in any game to, to be broken or added to. Here's Minoga, who's finding himself on the left-hand side at the moment. Harfield's in the middle and Harry's on the right. That's a little change. I wonder if that's just temporary or whether they'll stay like that. Might be some reasons for it. Theo Widrington's very deep at the moment as well. I'm not quite sure why Widrington and Harry's are just exchanging passes, as if they're trying to run down the clock or something, or all the shot. But um, an odd one, that. But they go back to the left-hand side. Minoga's got it, plays it inside to Glover. Glover looking for a more forward ball, but slides it sideways to Widrington, Widrington into the feet of Jones, goes forward and all the shot genuinely are trying to keep possession here. Southend to a man in an out of possession formation now of a 5-3-2. Harry straight through the middle to Tolad, shot from distance. Oh! Finally! It's come! The goal that's been on the end of his foot for the last 10 games, Lauren Tolad! Blistering left foot strike, out of nothing, 
It's another assist for Kean Harris, who has assisted every one of Aldershot Town's last three goals. And as we approach the 45-minute mark, Aldershot Town won. South End nil. Wow, what a finish from Lawrence Hollage. Absolutely from nothing. David Martin did not see that coming. We're going to five minutes of time at the end of the first half, but yeah, all shot down, fantastic finish. If you're watching on National League TV, if you've got any input, I'm happy to read that out. Long throw from South End into the box, missed by almost everybody, and it should be parried in. It's cleared off the line. It is Stokes into the area. He's, he's gone down, he's got up again. Peels for a penalty, he's got up again, he's still got the ball. Fair play to him. And it gives it back to Frost. Frost now back to Glover. Glover with the back heel into the path of Frost. Will Frost, he's running into the heart of the area now, tries a shot. That's cannon back off the South End player, it'll come back to Frost. He touches it to, Fro uh, to Stokes. Stokes tries him, oh, good effort. Really got a low skidder away, but it was always going to be a straightforward uh, save for David Martin. But here they come again. Out to the left-hand side, Bridge, one-on-one -on -one against Aaron Jones. Can he get the cross in? It does come in. It's cleared away by Harry's, uh, Harfield, sorry. Only as far as Cav Miley. Southend aren't going anywhere. They're not laying down for anybody. 57th minute, another cross into the area. Oh, Haji Minoga slices an attempted clearance, and Jordi Van Stappershoff dives away to his left and saves it to spare Minoga's blushes who uh, is not the top scorer in the division, but he's had the most shots according to the stats that Steve Gibbs gave me at half-time. Lauren Tullage fourth in that list. Bridge on the left, inside. Are they going to shoot? Coker, good stop. Followed up by Cardwell. Poked in, one all. Good, powerful shot. Jordi Van Stappershoff couldn't hold it. Cardwell was on hand to poke it home. I think that's his seventh goal of the season. South End are level, deservedly so. 73 minutes gone. Yeah, South End deserve it, both in the last couple of minutes and overall. It's just unfortunate. And it's the South End United fans you can hear. Corner comes in, headed towards goal, back off the post, off the bar, sorry, cleared away, comes back in again. And South End have been denied by the crossbar. Um, Willard will come on at some point, but here's Glover at the other end. We're in the 83rd minute, it's coming across the pitch on the edge of the area. Tries a little ball into the feet of Barham. Barham out to Thomas. Thomas shot, parried away, followed up and it's snaffled by Martin. Thomas with a shot on target, all the shots, second shot on target in the second half. The only other one from Stokes and it remains one all. Widringham is still hopping mad with his team who just can't get any semblance of control. There's a good win from Aaron Jones, finds Burnett. There is the final whistle. It ends Aldershot Town 1, Southend United 1. And in truth, that's the most Aldershot Town deserve. A quite brilliant performance of energy, desire, cohesion and togetherness from Southend United, who will leave the EBB Stadium with a very well-earned and much-deserved point. Final score here. Uh, Aldershot Town 1, Southend United 1.